Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, recently shared a bold and detailed reflection about the company's journey and the next big leap in artificial intelligence. His post was more than just a milestone celebration. It felt like a statement about where humanity is headed and how much closer we are to an era of machines that think, reason, and improve without human input. It all started with a short but intense tweet from Altman, near the singularity, unclear which side. For someone in his position uh, at the forefront of cutting edge AI development, to reference the singularity was a signal. This wasn't casual. The singularity represents the hypothetical point when technological progress becomes uncontrollable and irreversible, changing everything humans know about innovation and progress. The most common idea around it involves AI surpassing human intelligence and becoming capable of self-improvement, setting off an unstoppable loop of upgrades. Ray Kurzweil, a well-known futurist, believes this will happen around 2045. But based on how fast things are moving, even that timeline may be outdated. OpenAI's latest achievements suggest that this future isn't as far away as people think. OpenAI's recent breakthrough, the O3 model, crossed a threshold that experts have speculated about for years, artificial general intelligence, AGI. AGI refers to an AI capable of reasoning, adapting, and learning new skills autonomously, similar to a human being's cognitive abilities. Unlike narrow AI that performs specific tasks, like predicting the next word in a sentence or recognizing objects in images, AGI can generalize knowledge and apply it in new situations it wasn't explicitly trained for. The O3 model passed the ARC AGI test, which is one of the most rigorous benchmarks for determining AGI capability. On average, humans score around 80% on this test, a passing AGI score is 85%. OpenAI's high compute version of O3 scored 87.5%. To put that into perspective, this wasn't just a good result. It was a clear signal that AGI, as we've defined it, has arrived. Altman even stated in his recent blog post that OpenAI is now confident they understand how to build AGI. The ARC AGI benchmark was introduced by Francois Cholet, who also created the Keras Deep Learning Framework. The test measures an AI system's ability to acquire new skills efficiently across a range of abstract tasks, focusing on reasoning, object relationships, and spatial understanding. Essentially, it's designed to see whether the AI can solve puzzles that require logical thinking and not just memorized outputs. For instance, the system might be presented with a pattern involving colored blocks and tasked with predicting the missing pieces, something that typically requires abstract reasoning. The O3 model's performance stunned many in the field, given how notoriously difficult these tasks are. Altman's reflections also revealed OpenAI's next ambition, superintelligence. While AGI matches human-level intelligence, superintelligence surpasses it entirely. It isn't just an evolution, it's a whole new level. In his post, Altman explained that superintelligent tools could accelerate scientific discovery and innovation far beyond human capability. This isn't about replacing humans, but amplifying what's possible. To fully understand the scale of this, consider Altman's prediction that by 2025, AI agents could begin working alongside humans in ways that fundamentally change how businesses operate. These agents won't be limited to simple automation. They'll take on complex, creative tasks and adapt as they go, boosting productivity across industries. It's one thing to imagine AI scheduling meetings or sorting emails, but it's another to think of AI leading research projects, drafting legislation, or optimizing logistics for entire organizations in real time. This isn't distant sci-fi speculation. It's within reach. The timeline matters because once AGI systems start iterating on their designs and research without human intervention, the rate of improvement could be exponential. In the AI world, this phase is known as the takeoff. Altman described two possible scenarios, a slow takeoff, where progress happens gradually, giving humanity time to adapt, and a fast takeoff, where advancements snowball so quickly that safety and control measures struggle to keep up. OpenAI seems to prefer the slower approach, advocating for global coordination to slow things down at key points when needed. However, the speed at which OpenAI is releasing new models, especially after O3's success, suggests they're walking a fine line between rapid innovation and cautious progress. 
One of the more philosophical parts of Altman's post was his reflection on the simulation hypothesis. This idea proposes that we might already be living inside an advanced simulation created by a more intelligent civilization. The reasoning here is simple. If humans are rapidly approaching the ability to create fully immersive simulated realities, it's plausible that some other advanced civilization has already done it. Altman didn't outright claim this is the case, but his references to uncertainty and simulation-like realities hint at the possibility. Some, like Elon Musk, are outspoken believers, seeing it as an inevitable conclusion of technological progress. This shift from AGI to potential superintelligence also highlights another concern, computational power. Current AGI-like models require enormous amounts of compute resources, especially at test time, when they process vast amounts of data to generate outputs. This is why scaling up isn't just about better algorithms, it's about having enough processing capacity to handle the load. Without it, the systems hit performance ceilings, even if the underlying model is highly advanced. Financially, OpenAI is under pressure. Despite their innovations, they're not profitable yet. Subscriptions to ChatGPT Pro cost $200 per month, but it's not enough to offset their expenses. Microsoft, a major investor, expects OpenAI's AGI products to generate $100 billion annually, which sets a high bar. To meet these expectations, OpenAI may bundle its models into enterprise-level solutions capable of solving large-scale problems across multiple sectors. Altman's post also acknowledged the leadership challenges he's faced, including the governance crisis of 2023, when he was briefly ousted and then reinstated as CEO. He admitted there were failures on his part and emphasized his commitment to becoming a more thoughtful leader. This level of transparency from a CEO at the center of such a high stakes industry speaks volumes about the complexities of running an organization at the forefront of a technological revolution. The implications of AGI and superintelligence aren't limited to technology. Altman touched on the potential ripple effects across society, how it could reshape economies, politics, social structures, and even our emotional connections. When machines become capable of tasks humans once considered uniquely theirs, the very fabric of human experience shifts. The emotional and psychological impact of this cannot be ignored. It's not just about what AI can do, it's about what humans will do in response. Some researchers have already demonstrated early versions of AI systems capable of autonomous scientific discovery. A paper by the Sakana AI team detailed how AI could hypothesize, test, and iterate on scientific theories without human guidance. While still in its infancy, the point is that it's happening. Mistakes in these early stages are inevitable, but the trajectory is clear. This technology will refine itself over time. Altman's closing remarks carried a sense of both hope and caution. He acknowledged that the road ahead would be turbulent, but insisted that if managed correctly, the outcome could be a world of abundance and opportunity. However, he didn't shy away from the possibility of failure if humanity approaches these advancements without the necessary care. The next few years will be pivotal, with AI agents expected to enter the workforce, ongoing discussions about the singularity, and real questions about whether we're in a simulation. This decade is shaping up to be unlike anything we've seen before. What's certain is that OpenAI has already altered the course of history, and the story is far from over. Do you think things are moving too fast, or is this all just part of normal AI progress? That would be great to hear your take. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.